welcome back. So for this video, I am going to show you how to effectively get through each one of the six challenges here for our new weekly challenge. It looks like we're back in Alexandria and Alexandria will not be falling this week. So I've already completed the first round, which I was started on level 12. I am now on level 13. All the, um, the methods I employ throughout these six missions will help you regardless of whatever level you are starting off on since these missions do not change. It's the same concept regardless of what level you're on, whether you're on level 9 or 10 or level 18, it's going to help you. So let's get started on the first round and that's going to be entitled Gate Crashing. It says we need to open the gate and get into Alexandria. So let's go ahead and select our team. So for this mission, we will have various walkers coming at us from both the left side and the right side. And there is a big gate we need to open. So that being said, one of the most effective ways to take out these large groups of walkers is going to be with an assault. So I'm bringing along Rosita as my leader, and I'll also bring along Daryl. Now, you could also bring along two assaults. In fact, I should show you how that works out with two assaults. So I'm going to take along two assaults and one hunter to show you how this works out. Now, you could also bring along a warrior, but I find assaults are really good at taking out large crowds of walkers. So let me show you how I do it. So from here, I'm gonna let Joe get that. I'm going to move Rosita a little bit up, get her to get that one. And then I'm going to move Daryl up because he is going to be who I designate to open the fence. So now the minute I touch that fence, new walkers will be appearing. So let's go ahead and see. So as you see, new walkers have spawned. I'm going to get Rosita to get those, and Joe will get the ones up top. Now there's one walker on the bottom there. We'll worry about him in a bit. So, again, every time I touch this gate to move it, new walkers will spawn. So, Rosita, I'm going to let her get that, and Joe can get that one walker at the bottom. So again, let's let Daryl open the door. And new walkers have spawned, so we're going to get Rosita again to eliminate those right there. And then Joe can get those. So in one more turn, walkers will be spawning. So let's just try to hurry up here. And I mean, they're definitely going to spawn. Regardless. Yeah. So Rosita's got a pretty big range there. So she could get those. Joe could get these. And I'm just going to move Daryl, and he can get that one there. Now, if you're like me and want the XP points, you're going to kill the walkers. And then move. So I'm going to end the turn. And now I can move Joe onto the green, and we're done. And that's how to complete. 
so as you see, you have walkers coming from all sides. Every time you go to push that gate, new walkers will spawn. So you want to take along someone who is good at eliminating groups of walkers efficiently. I just so happen to pick assaults because they're great at that. But you could also take a warrior if your sword has a wide arc because white arc is pretty helpful when it comes to eliminating those larger groups. So let's move on to the crates. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I'm gonna scrap that one weapon. And now we can continue. Okay, so on to the next challenge, Good Neighbors. What we have to do is loot the boxes and get out. So as you see, we have an armored walker. So for this round, I'm going to take out Joe and bring along Mr. Pink, because why not? Let's be in. Now, when I see um, an armored walker, you know, typically we have options for those. I am comfortable with a shooter. However, you can also bring a scout and a warrior since they're also going to be effective here. But for now, I, I chose this team and I'm going to show you how I'll do it. So Rosita gets those. I'm going to get these. I need someone to start on the boxes, but I'm going to make sure I eliminate the walkers that are in my area first, and then I'll move Mr. Pink up, because he will open that one box. Now, the minute I do that, new walkers appear, so just keep that in mind. Now into, well, one turn now, new walkers will be appearing. So I'm going to let Daryl open this box since he's there already. Gonna move Mr. Pink down and kill that walker and then end the turn there. And there is our armored. So, going to shoot down and then let Mr. Pink get that level 13. There is one more box that I'm needing and I'm going to let Mr. Pink handle that. So Rosita just shot up the walkers that appeared there. That's the last box. A new armored appeared. Daryl has critical attack, which I'm going to use. And done. Now all we have to do is go to the green exit. So we could end the turn again. And we're done. Pretty straightforward. So <clears throat> whenever you see red flashing anything, it means that once you interact with that object, walkers will spawn. So keep that in mind. Make sure you have someone available to get rid of the new walkers that are spawning. Nothing in the boxes for me. Well, radios are always welcome. All right, so next mission is entitled Yard Work, and we have to kill all the walkers in the area. So I see that we're going to be confronted with the tank. I'm comfortable with the team that I have here, so I'm just going to start the mission. So our objective is just to kill all the walkers, which we will do. 
So I'm going to let Rosita take aim for that bigger group up top. Mr. Pink will take aim at that tank and kill that. And then we still have walkers to the side here. I'm going to let Daryl begin on some of those. So Daryl can take a straight shot. Mr. Pink can aim towards that walker. And then Rosita, maybe, yes. She can aim for the last one, and we'll be done. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's up to you who you want to take. You can definitely take, again, a scout. You can take a warrior, or you can just follow the lineup I have here. Regardless, it's pretty easy to kill all the walkers. So you can do this a number of ways and still be successful. All right, so maybe I'll get a silver box, maybe. All right, I got one silver box, two phones, not mad at it. So the next mission is entitled The Back Lot. We have to again find the loot and get out so I'm not trying to deviate too much from my current selection but as you see we do have another armor oh wow I just discovered something new here mission details strong can stun you with one punch recommended classes scout hunter shooter that's interesting. I never knew that you can hit that. So if you touch the um, the tank sign, that'll come up. So that's pretty cool. I, didn't, I learned something completely new today by accident. All right. So, um, yeah, we definitely have a recommended class here. So you could take a scout along. That's pretty cool. I didn't know if that was there prior to me just touching the screen, but now you know. So let's just go ahead and start this mission. So, um, we just have to gather the supplies for this round. Nothing, uh, remarkable, really. So, let's just get started. Let's look around the area. So, there is a cluster of walkers over to the, um, side here. There are several boxes that we have to go through. And there is an exit we must return to, which is by this car right here. So, I'm going to let Rosita start shooting. So, she'll get majority of them. Daryl can then take out this guy. And Mr. Pink can start on that first box. So, there are more walkers. I'm going to move Rosita up. Let her get those two. Can Daryl reach? No, none of them can reach. All right. So, Rosita will get that box. Daryl will get this box. Mr. Pink gets that box. And we're done. We have uncovered all the boxes. We can leave. So, there is another uh, big walker there. And Rosita doesn't have... So no new... Okay. More walkers have spawned here. 
It's easy stuff, though. You could just kill them off. I'm gonna kill them off. Gonna let Mr. Pink use Overwatch. Um, gonna kill off that last walker near me. It's not necessary to kill all the walkers. You could just leave. So here is a mission entitled Red Carpet. Our objective is to get to the exit. Again, we will be encountering tank walkers. So let's just go ahead and begin the mission. Okay, so here we just have to go to the exit. It's down there. We have to just kill off all the walkers. So let's get started. I'm going to let Rosita take that shot. Mr. Pink can be moved up and he can get that one. Daryl can shoot straight across. Now be careful, there is Sneaky Walker hiding. Gonna let Mr. Pink get that Sneaky Walker. Rosita can handle that last one. And now we can start moving forward. So pretty much at this point we could leave. I mean, unless you want to wait for the new wave of walkers, that's entirely up to you. Um, I'm just going to leave. So it's pretty easy. You just make sure you clear the path. Um, make sure also to use caution when passing through that one little spot. There's a hidden walker there, as you saw. But besides that, it's pretty to the point. All right, last mission entitled big boss man so here we just have to kill the big walker and it's on raj so i'm gonna keep my team consistent and we'll just start the mission <clears throat> now for this one, we do have to be a bit careful because walkers continue to spawn in the lower left and right corner, especially right here where all these uh, level 13 walkers are. <clears throat> they continue to spawn there, so my advice is don't move too close to this corner right here. Don't go that way. Like, it's best to just kind of remain where you're at. So, since Daryl already has a shot set up, I'm going to get those three. Going to let Rosita go ham on these guys.
and Mr. Pink. In fact, I'm just going to move him up and use Overwatch for now. So, you see the walker spawn there at the bottom, so just be careful not to be in that area. So there are some level 12s up top. I'm just going to let Rosita handle those. And Daryl can kill this level 13. I think there's one more. And there it is. And we're done. Pretty simple stuff, y'all. Am I going to get the gold? No gold. Some little tomatoes, which I'll take because I'm still working on upgrades. But yeah, besides that, this is how you would complete the rounds. Now, you have um, a lot of options here in terms of who you could use. I feel like this week the missions are more simple. So, if you want to try out a warrior go ahead they do have um the warrior event going on where they do 50 percent more damage so you could definitely bring along a warrior you could definitely bring along a scout when you encounter the tanks along with that um one mission with the armored besides that you just want to make sure you're bringing along a team member who can eliminate a large group of walkers since all of these missions present us with larger groups of walkers so for this I would go ahead and take an assault you would take a hunter and you would also take a warrior the options here are pretty much up to you and who you're comfortable with who you feel is strong in your team that can get through these missions easily the way I did it again was with an assault a shooter and a hunter you don't necessarily have to do it that way but that's how I'm getting through I will try to do another video where I'll show you a different lineup I think that would be helpful since a lot of you use different things I want to try doing some of these missions with a scout and a warrior just to show you, you know, the difference in methods. But if you are going to use the lineup I'm using, just follow what I'm doing here since the challenges do not deviate one from another. They just go up in difficulty in terms of the level. But yeah, for now, this is how to effectively complete all six missions for this week's weekly challenge in Alexandria. I hope this video helped. Give it a thumbs up if it did. Until next time, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.